Ah, welcome, welcome to a new quick pick video about at the gates this time. This one is about the 1.4.0 patch, the one that brings some diplomacy to the table and not much else, unfortunately. Diplomacy is generally seen as something of a must-have feature in 4x strategy games, but it had been fairly absent from at the gates since its release. But starting with patch 1.4.0, when you meet new major factions, you'll have a series of options to choose from. You start with what has been present till now, a neutral response and two bribing options. But now, after the first contact sort of interaction, you get a secondary menu of further options. More bribing, declaring war, sending an emissary, making an alliance and convincing the respective leader to declare war on a different faction. Even from this cursory description you'll notice a marked leaning towards war and that is fairly in keeping with the setting of the game. At the gates does take place during the European Dark Ages and war was seen as something that would both cause problems and solve them at the same time. Granted this would be the general MO of the European countries for the following uh, 1500 years or so. From a technical standpoint, the patch does what it was promised. It introduces more options in dealing with your neighbors and with some further polish and balancing going further, the addition is overall a good thing. You can use the new options to delay the other major factions declaring war on you and once you reach a high level of producing money and food, you can start using those resources to turn factions into allies or turn them against each other. But right now, I am disappointed with the overall post-release development of At The Gates. To me, it is still unfinished. Like this should have been an early access title that would have required around 2-3 to three more years of development, polish and system overhauls. Because these types of games, even paradox games, tend to change a lot over time. The games you play 1 or 2 years after release are super different from the same titles at release. I began my venture into At The Gates being more than enthusiastic about it. Maybe a bit too enthusiastic considering this title. Really? Really? Younger me? Really? But then I decided on covering every major patch to the game, as you can see documented in my At The Gates playlist, hoping that it would eventually reach its potential. But at this point in time, I'm not as optimistic as I have been up until now. I think it could still be saved, theoretically. Keeping in mind I have literally no clue of the type of coding nonsense that would have to happen in the background, but I also believe that most things can be saved if you're willing and capable of spending the time and effort. At the gates could fulfill its promise with a major overhaul of its tech tree system, its UI, optimize the AI in terms of everything it does and offer the possibility of customizing your game when creating a new one. But I really don't think that's possible considering the slow and rather incremental rate of updates. So I won't be covering at the gates going forward unless it eventually reaches a 2.0 version that is completely different than what we have right now. In the meanwhile, I will be using my 4x playtime to read the Shadow Empire manual. Hey there dear watcher who's still watching, thank you very much for sticking around. I've recently started a Patreon page, so if you want to and can throw a couple of bucks my way to help me get more games and improve my recording setup, go on there and check out the tiers and rewards. If you can't do that but still want to help me grow my channel, please consider subscribing, turning on the notification bell and of course, share the video far and wide. I've been Steven Ansons, thank you very much for watching, see you next time and have a great rest of the day.